So pillar number five is why we don't care about protein. I want you to know that most Americans are protein toxic. We're getting way too much protein. Uh, most Americans are getting well over 15% of their calories from protein. And according to the uh, Institute of Medicine and the World Health Organization, we need right around 10% of our calories coming from protein. And that is with a built-in safety measure of about 30%. So I want you to know nobody, nobody listening to this needs to worry about protein deficiency, uh, especially if you're consuming enough calories. If you're consuming enough calories, by default, you're getting all the protein that you need. And this will make sense here as we, as we talk about this. So uh, what exactly are proteins? Proteins are composed, they're, 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 they're chains of amino acids. There's 20 recognized amino acids. And of those 20, there's nine essential amino acids that cannot be manufactured by our bodies. We have to actually consume them with food in order to attain them. And you can see here they are. You've got isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, tryptophan, threonine, valine, and histidine. And I want you to know whether it's a strawberry, whether it's a raspberry, a black bean, a sweet potato, uh, a, a cantaloupe, each one of them has all nine of these essential amino acids in the perfect proportion and composition. Again, as I said earlier, plant-based proteins are the Goldilocks of protein. This is where protein originates from plants. And if animals have protein, which they do, they either got it directly or indirectly from the plants. So this is just a chart that shows you the average percentages of protein in plant-based foods. So you can see white mushrooms are right around 56% protein. Spinach, 55. Tofu, firm tofu, sitting at about 48 or so. Uh, collard greens, 38. Kale, 35. Broccoli, 33, right? Uh, your average bean, kidney beans, pinto beans are in the 20s. Um, cooked quinoa, rolled oats are right around 18% protein. And then blackberries and red bell peppers at the uh, lower end are sitting at about 12%. I just want you to know you can't blow it. Again, you only need about 10%. You're going to be hitting a home run. Now, here's an interesting fact. You know, there's three macronutrients as we talked about, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. The one macronutrient that we as human beings cannot store is protein. So if you're eating much more than you need, let's say you're eating, you know, 15, 16%, guess what you're doing with all that, all that excessive protein? You're either peeing it away or you're storing it as fat, but you can't store it as protein. So it does you no benefit whatsoever. And there's a term, there's a medical terminology or a medical term for protein deficiency and it's called quashia core. And most Americans have never heard of quashia core because it's not a thing. And I want you to know as a firefighter, probably 90% of our calls were medical emergencies. And over the course of the year, we would probably make 8,000, 8,000 911 emergency calls. And so let's just say of 90% of those that were medical calls, guess how many that we made to somebody that was suffering from protein deficiency? Not one. But guess how many that we made from people that were suffering from having a full-blown heart attack? They were breathless and pulseless. Lots. People that had chest pain, people that had difficulty breathing, people that were diabetic, right? And their blood sugar levels had gotten too low calls that we made for people that we had to do a lifting assistance call because they weighed somewhere between 350 and 700 pounds. Lots of people, people that had stroked out, that had a stroke, people that didn't know where they were because of dementia and Alzheimer's, lots of them. So I think you get the point I'm trying to make here, but protein ain't no thing.
you're going to be getting all you need from your whole plants. If you haven't seen the Game Changers, I highly recommend it. It uh, came out in 2019. I was fortunate enough to be one of the executive producers of it, along with James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jackie Chan. You can see these names here, Novik Djokovic. And it's now got over 200 million views. It's the most watched documentary of all times. And really, James Wilkes did such a phenomenal job obliterating this whole myth that real men and real women uh, eat meat and that you need meat and you need dairy for protein because you don't, right? Instead, you just go straight. You cut out the middle chicken, the middle pig, the middle cow, the middle turkey to get your protein and you go straight to the mother source. You go to your black beans, your quinoa, your rolled oats, you go to your cherries. That's where you want to get your protein from. And you're also getting your carbohydrates, your essential fatty acids, your vitamins, your minerals, your water, your phytonutrients, and your fiber. Woohoo! This is Nehemiah, Nehemiah Delgado. He was also in the Game Changers. He is a lifelong, never had meat a day of his life. He's been vegan for over 14 years, and he was the first vegan to make the cover of Muscle and Fitness Magazine. And you can see here, he is not suffering from protein deficiency. Another gentleman that um, is, is plant-based is Alex Hanald. If you haven't seen the documentary uh, Free Solo, uh, Alex is one of the most amazing um, mountain climbers ever. He actually free soloed without any ropes or harnesses or anything, El Capitan in Yosemite National Park. It's over uh, almost a quarter of a mile straight up. And I believe this is him doing the ascent. And he did it in three hours and 59 minutes. National Geographic declared this the greatest human feat of all time. And guess what he had for breakfast? He had... Uh, steel cut oats with blueberries, some chia seeds, and some almond milk. That's what fueled him to this incredible performance. This is just, I want you guys to understand that by eating whole food plant-based, you're getting all the protein you need and actually more than you need. So a guy like myself, I weigh about 180 pounds. Uh, I only need about 70 grams of protein a day. I just put this together. You can see my cereal with um, just my cereal, and I eat a lot, but my cereal gives me 14 grams. The unsweetened uh, Eden soy, soy milk that I ha have is 12 grams. A banana is two grams. A half a cup of berries is two grams. An ounce of walnuts is four grams. A tablespoon of chia seeds is two and a half. A uh, tablespoon of hemp seeds is three and a half and a kiwi is one. So that's just 41 grams that I get just in my breakfast bowl. And I call it the Rips Big Bowl because it's rather large. I do work out a lot and I probably get between 32 to 4,000 calories uh, a day. But then you can see for lunch there, uh, I've got a bunch of spinach, three grams, a cup of quinoa, six grams. I had a, a firehouse chili that was 19 grams. So that's 28 grams. And then for dinner, I had pizza, four slices. Each uh, slice is four grams. So that was 16 grams in my, in my crust. And then the pasta sauce is four grams. Veggies and beans were on, I, I averaged that out to eight grams. And then I did some tempeh slices on top. That's 20 grams. So that's 48 grams for dinner, 117 grams for the day much more than I needed, but I just wanted you to see that. All right. Another, another little testimonial here. Paul, you said, Paul, you have got your career back. What, uh, what career were you in jeopardy of losing? Uh, flying career, commercial pilot. And so what, what, what was going on with it? Developed uh, chest pain while I was in Shanghai. Came back, realized I had heart disease. Um, I took stress tests. So as soon as I failed that, I lost my FAA medical. So, uh, what plant uh, straw quite perfect with your dad's uh, guidance through uh, doing the whole food plant based, no oil, low sodium. And uh, six months ago, I passed my stress test after reversing heart disease, which is verified through my angiograms. So I had a follow up angiogram, so I went from like over 50% uh, 
blockage of my uh, artery, one artery, LAD, yeah. down to barely measurable at all. So the plaque actually dissolved. That's amazing. Yeah. So how much weight have you lost as well? I lost 35 pounds, but it did it over three months and never put the pound back at all, the weight back. Yeah. Has it been difficult for you? The first week was tough, but uh, what I did is follow the uh, recipes and when I started making uh, like the recipes, yeah. I realized I could start doing this long term. And your, and your wife is not boarding. She well, two weeks later, she started seeing what I was eating, and yeah. uh, she's like, I want that instead of what, what she was having, which yeah. was from a restaurant somewhere. It's fantastic. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty great. Go. It's awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real many plants. Love, love hearing that. Big, big kudos to Paul and what he was. 